Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. And I finally get to enjoy it. Man, I've been off the water for around two weeks now. I've been just so slammed. Uh, the All About the Bait got the new product releases that I had been working on and that was a full week of photos and descriptions and loading them in the system. Then I had to take them down, service Esky Rods in the Key West, take new stuff down there come back, fulfill an order. So I've got that all packed. I still have to go back down there. Um, my Patreon product testers group, I did uh, about 150 giveaways. <laughs> Had to package those up and then pack them up and get mailed out. Finished all those. Taxes, got those done. So finally got some freedom and I'm out here and there's like a, a couple of day window and then it's blown out for a week. So I was like, oh my gosh. Then this five o'clock sunset thing with the time change is killing me. So I, I got to take advantage of where I can, but we are out here. Plan A was definitely start putting some time in on these motors. This is the, uh, the uh, will it run or dead motor that I got running again. Uh, towards the end of the first trip on this one, it was dying out on me. And then I went home, put the carb apart because I didn't do that before. I just got it off of this um, spare motor that I just bought and uh, threw it on there and it worked all right, but then it had those cutouts, but it has a bad um, float uh, needle and seat. The needle of the, the rubber tip is bent off. So it's not working very well, but I kind of straightened it out and it's working, but I want to put some more miles on there. Then I was going to do, bam, all about the bait mullet. I was planning on doing some mullet stuff, little sharky. But I forgot my cast nets. I didn't bring the other bucket. Last trip I thought I'd be smart and separate my cast nets so I'd have a bucket with the nets in it, take the nets out, and then I have a bait bucket rather than taking out all my tackley stuff out of this one. But I didn't think about it. I usually have my nets with that stuff and I don't have it. So no mullet here today. So we're switching to plan B, which is just catch something. So that's the plan. Tides are very low right now. You can kind of see between the leaves and then the water level, but it didn't make a difference. I was coming out here regardless. So we are out, but I guess it's kind of good for uh, cruising the mangroves having a low tide like this. Pushes those fish out from the island. So we'll probably do that since I can't get any mullet with no net. All the bait here is good. So we'll just cruise along, see what we see. Maybe stop at some bonefish spots. There's some stuff bigger over there. All right, let's see if we can catch something. All right, I see a bunch of something. Right inside there. Those are snook. Oh yeah. Bunch of snook, 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 snookers. Oh, what am I gonna throw? I think I'm gonna throw a fly. Oh, did I spook them? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Work with me, fly line. Work with me. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're in that hole there. Things got to go down. Yeah, there's a school of them right there. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, can't see them now. Where'd they go? Oh, they're back in there. Oh, right there. Oh. oh, those tarpon. Oh, those are tarpon. I thought that was a snook. Oh, how'd they miss it? They'll be back. All right, I think those are either snook or redfish. Right there.
I've got a oh, come on let go right on top of them there yeah they're oh one swam off he didn't like that there's something else swimming out of there Alright, let's go to the bucktail. Oh, that spooked them. That's got to be a snook there. Oh, a couple snook. Oh, there's another one there. He's right there. I have the worst casting angle. There's a couple of them going towards it. Oh, oh he hit it! Oh, golly. Whacked it. No drag. Gotta have drag. Oh, dang it. He wanted it. Oh, I gotta do something about these poles. In my way. You guys are in my way. Oh, they're right here. They're right there. Yeah, they those saw me. Now I got some sun, I could see. Oh, right there. Oh, he hit it. Dang it. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Oh, stay out of there. Get him out. Oh, no. <laughs> the bonefish jig. <laughs> nice. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> there we go. Nice little juvie snookers. With the all about the bait bonefish jig. Works on the snook, which is about the size of the bonefish I catch with them. Nice. Bam! <laughs> all about the bait bonefish jig. All right, let's let this little guy go. Whoa, get my jig back. There he goes. Suck the thumb. You're not worse for wear looking at me. You good? See ya, buddy. Nice. Uh, there's some coming to line up because, hey, we heard you have this cool new bait out. Can we try it? Why, sure you can. Oh, not if you cast that close. But here is the new all about the bait snook jig, AKA bonefish jig. Nice. They're still in there. I see a bunch of them. They're all underneath in those roots there and they keep coming out all along this edge here. They're forced out because of the water level. Otherwise you would never see these snook anywhere near this edge. They'd always be way inside, but since they're forced out, I get multiple shots at them. But I want to catch something out. So we're going to leave fish to find fish. I see more snook there and then over there. Kind of just see him sitting in that current there. Bunch of snooky snooks. They'll lay up in these little potholes out here too. Waiting for that uh, current to come up. There goes a bonefish right there. Dang it. I thought it was a cuda. He's going over there. Oh, there might have been more here. 
I thought it was a cuda, so I was like, eh, whatever, and then I, it turned green. Oh, man. There's probably a school that was in here. All right, bonefish jig. Time to put in some more work. See a bunch of uh, tarpon gurgling over here. Get around and out from them. And then throw the schmino gurgler at them. All right, gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. Stop it, quiet. They're right there. Oh, in the tree. Not in the tree. Ooh, that almost got me in the head. Right on top of them. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, 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 what am I doing here? What are we doing? Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Oh my gosh, what are we doing? <laughs> Luckily this guy is so chill. Fight me like a brook trout. Jump, jump, there he goes. One more jump and you can get, a, and you can go. All right, you can get off now. All right. Tarpon down! We're on the leader. Yeah, these little guys can't refuse the... Oh, you can jump again? One more time. Oh, get some air. Air. I don't want to break this rod tip. Getting awful sharp there. Stay away from the anchor line. Oh. I've not broken the rod tip yet. Yet. Man. Making my wrist hurt. There he goes. Now you're done. Now you're done. Don't jump. Again, in the bottom of the lip. I just want the schmittle back. And then you can go. Let it go. Don't, don't, don't. There he goes. Ah, schmittle at its best. Happy days. Whew, I'm pooped. All right, not so bad. I'm gonna lose the sun here. Perfect timing, but uh, let's see if we can find a redfish. Bonefish would be good, but that's gonna be tough, but we'll see. I see tarpons, I see snook, but I don't see no redfish. All I want is a redfish. Throw in this little hole here. Bunch of snappers. Oh, get off. <sighs> Your little parasites tearing up my bonefish jig. All right, moving on. Right there, they're swimming parallel with me. Right there. Oh, where'd they go? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Oh, I lost him. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Is that my red? Or is that another snook? Oh, another snook. Schnookmon, schnookmon. I saw you. Man, they were following right with me, just like that. Just boop. I just caught a glance of a fin's moving. Thank you. 
snick, snook love the bonefish jig. Not my redfish though. You done? Watch out for my anchor line. Stay up on top. Be nice. I'll let you go. There it goes. All right. All right. There he goes. All about the bait buck fit tail jig. Schnook love it. Love it, love it. Man, he whacked it. Whacked it hard. Got the weed guard so I don't get stuck anywhere. Man. Shucky, shucky. Ouch. See ya! Where are my redfish at? See that puff of smoke and that rock there? There was a snook just sitting there into the current, but I just can't see because of the sun. Probably some other ones here too. Just can't see. I got the wind to my back, so I can't slow down very well. All right, we're back and loaded up. Still got quite a bit of sun there, but I just wanted to make it a quickie day anyways. Uh, very happy with the motor starts, idles, runs, trolls perfectly, no problems, very smooth. So very happy about that. Confidence level is way up there. Um, bait check, not a lot of mullet. Uh, surprised about that. I did find some in my uh, other outlying spots, but uh, even the main spot didn't have a lot of them. So kind of happy I didn't bring the nets so I concentrated on the uh, edges of the mangrove so lots of uh, tarpon juveniles lots of juvenile snook which is good I saw a, a couple of bigger teenagers uh, adult size slot fish there so that was good no redfish didn't see any redfish saw one bone fish and uh, only saw a couple of kudas so not a lot in those other uh, species but uh very good day that's what i want uh i was out there maybe less than two hours got a bunch of fish bent a rod and uh saw a lot of stuff so very good productive day so uh anyways thanks for watching and i will see you next video bye